Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a really easy synthesis. Uh, this synthesis is of copper tetraamine. Now copper tetraamine is a very useful compound in the synthesis of rayon. If you don't know what rayon is, you're most likely wearing it. It's in artificial clothing. Now right here I have a beaker filled with copper sulfate in water and to it I will add some Walmart brand cleaning ammonia. When I add it, you will see an immediate precipitate form. Now this precipitate is of copper hydroxide, and it's kind of got a milky, uh, almost paste texture to it, and it's a nice teal. It's much like malachite in the fact that they are both very teal. Now, much like malachite is insoluble in water, which is giving it that lumpy, uh, color. You can tell something is insoluble when you can look at it and it's not clear, if that makes sense. It's very dense. You can't see the bottom of the container. It's a good indication that whatever you have it in is not dissolving it. Now the synthesis is very important because it gives not only the idea of solubility, but it also demonstrates what an intermediate is. And sometimes they're useful, sometimes they're not in whatever application we're trying to use. Now you can see that from a large excess of ammonia you turn the copper hydroxide into copper tetraamine. Now the reactions are shown here and you can see that this copper hydroxide in the synthesis was an intermediate. Now if you wanted copper hydroxide you could in theory just stop there and not add the large excess. Now this isn't a preferential way if you're trying to make rayon at a large scale or if you need very pure copper tetramine because these cleaning ammonias that you can get from most grocery stores have what's called a surfactant. A surfactant keeps your solution from bubbling and foaming and it's a nice oily layer and you can kind of see a reflection on the beaker of the oily layer. And as I go to store this, I will try to get as much of the surfactant off as it settles out, but I'm not going to be able to because it's going to only allow a certain amount of the surfactant to rise to the surface of the solution. So what's going to happen is if I skim this little oily layer off, it's going to send up a little bit more of this layer and I skim it off, it's going to send more, and I can keep repeating this and essentially I could end up with a nice clean solution. However, uh, this is time consuming, quite tedious, and the vial that I am storing it in is very, very small, and you can barely even see it. Um, you will see why I'm storing these solutions in a vial in, a, in an upcoming video, hopefully very soon. However, this will be an ongoing process. So, uh, stay tuned. Hopefully, it ends up being a very, very cool project. Until next time, thank you for watching.